little battle phase. So the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is of course find my glasses. I don't get on social media straight away in the morning anymore, but I do check my emails and my to-do list to make sure I understand my workload and what it is I have to do for the day. Before I go into the bathroom, I grab my uniform first. That way I can knock everything out while I'm in there and I'm not making any unnecessary back and forth trips. That way I can minimize the noise because I don't want the kids up any earlier than they have to be. After I put on my uniform, I start to freshen up. I take out any earrings that I probably had in the night before. Washing my face, brushing my teeth, things like that. No, I do not take a shower before PT because it'll add to too much of the hustle and bustle I already have going on. I also shower at night, so it's not that big of a deal. And I'm about to go and work out and get sweaty and disgusting, so I will shower after PT. In my last morning routine video, I showed you all the inspirational videos that I like to watch, and I still watch them. I still love them, but lately I've been really getting into the doctors on YouTube so I watch them almost every single morning maybe it's because my interests are diving deeper and deeper into the medical field but it's very entertaining to me very scary virus but uh, when you say how infectious is it if you come in contact with body fluids it's infectious if you don't it's not it's not airborne transmitted so as far as we have, know you have Ebola right now and we're sitting right here if you're sitting right there you're in no danger no now, I do watch other things. As I stated before, I love watching my motivational videos, but mainly I'm watching the doctors while I get ready and while I'm on my way to work. I'm telling you guys, the part of the day where I am looking my roughest is probably during PT because again, I don't do much. I don't put on makeup. I barely do my hair. I just put it into a somewhat ponytail and call it a morning because I just don't see a point to it when everything is about to be undone anyway. After that, I put on my PT belt and my shoes and I'm all ready. I try to keep myself getting ready within a 15 minute time limit. That way I know I have enough time to get the kids ready and I'm also leaving out of the door in time. The first kid I get up is Darion and that's because of course he's older and he can do things more independently now so I don't necessarily have to worry about him all the time. It can be a struggle getting him up out of bed but we usually get there. For the most part Darion usually picks out his own outfits but sometimes I do lay them out for him before I move on and start getting me ready. After I get Darion started and I make sure he's actually getting ready, I then go into Mia's room and I start working on her. Since she does take more of the time, I try to get to her as soon as possible. I start off with getting anything that I'm going to need to get her ready. So that means her shoes, her clothes, her diapers, wipes, anything I'm going to need. I try to get those things before I get her out of the crib. That way I'm not making any extra trips. And as we all know, a toddler can definitely be a handful. And I'm trying to get this done as soon as possible. After my son is finished getting ready, he usually likes to come in and help me out with Mia, which is really nice and is super cute in the morning to just see them laughing and giggling and playing together. So that's always a treat super early in the morning.
Now labeling diapers isn't something that I do every morning, but if I know it's been a while since I restocked at the daycare or I got word that she's running low, I go ahead and label some so I can just drop them off before I go to PT. And this is the last thing I have to do, so the kids are usually waiting around before we leave out the door. I'm usually getting done with PT around eight o'clock and so I make it home a little bit after eight and straight away I make my way into the kitchen and start picking out my breakfast for the morning. I do skip cooking breakfast some days and just go to IHOP or Waffle House and grab some hash browns and some bacon but for the most part I like cooking my own breakfast. Now the way I do it may not work for everyone else, but to save time, I like to start my breakfast on a very low heat. That way I am able to go, take a shower, get my hair and do all of that stuff I need to do really quickly. And by the time I come back, my breakfast is usually, if not done, it's pretty close to done. I'm telling you guys, it may look like I run around in the morning like a crazy person, but it's for good reason because I want to get done as soon as possible so I can do this. So I can sit and eat food and watch TV and relax because I don't know what the day is going to hold, but I want to make sure I start it off right. So unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. So after that little bit of me time, it's time to start getting ready for work. So I go ahead and get into my uniform, get my boots all laced up and get ready for the day. And now that I have my DIY Starbucks drink and I made one last minute check over my appearance, it is time to start my day.
ain't tryna make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't tryna grow them stunts for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna link no time to waste. For the record, for the record.